If I'm if I'm easy work, I heard him say I'm easy work. If I was easy work, would well, you know you would take all that money that 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 he's offering you. But yet and still, he want two hundred million for for Benavidez, and he want a hundred and fifty million to fight me. So that just lets me know right there that I'm a threat to him. The the one thing that I respect about um, uh, your excellency and uh, Turkey is uh, he wants to make the best fights. That's basically it. And uh, a lot of fighters, you know, they outprice themselves. Therefore, the fans lose, and we can't watch those fights. But now Turkey's coming in, paying money, but he's not paying absurd amounts of monies. In a surprising twist, Turkey's Alal Sheikh has apparently cut ties with boxing superstar Canelo Alvarez, ending any chances of future collaboration. Alal Sheikh took a jab at Alvarez after the Mexican champion rejected the idea of working together unless it was on his own terms. The incident occurred during a press conference in Beverly Hills, where Alvarez was promoting his September 14th fight against Edgar Berlanga. When asked about a potential offer from Alal Sheikh to fight Terence Crawford, Alvarez voiced his frustration with Sheikh's approach. I really care about it. Look, I'm, I'm focused 100% on my fight, and I don't, I don't really care about it. They called me yesterday. They, they text me yesterday. If uh, it's possible to talk about the craft for five for February or or meet uh, uh, to yesterday here in Los in Los, in Los Angeles with him, and I say, look, I'm 100% focused on this fight, and I, and I can talk about other fights. Maybe that's why he talked about that to, today because I say I'm not ready to talk about other fights. And, and I don't really ask him for anything. I'm good. Alvarez dismissed the idea of fighting Crawford, citing the difference in weight classes. However, the Mexican star mentioned that he would consider the fight if offered $150 million, a figure he had previously stated. Canelo, Johnny Boy Boxing, fight height. I just want to ask you, what do you think about Terrence Crawford? What do we think about Terrence Crawford's performance and what, do you want to get a fight with him? Is that, if the money is right, I mean... <laughs> $100 million, I heard, I heard Turkey offered you a big money already. Johnny Boy, in a boxing fight interview, asks, What do you think about Terence Crawford? How do we assess his performance? And would you be interested in fighting him if the money's right? Say, $100 million. Are we going to see Terence Crawford versus Canelo? As I tell before to the ESPN, I give him the offer if he's smart, he will accept. Al Sheikh mentioned that he had proposed the Crawford fight to Canelo during the Madoff Crawford fight event. Could this mean we might see it happen? It, it, it's crazy and it makes me laugh uh, with all the antics that Canelo is doing and saying in the media and, and whatnot um, about the size and he won't get no credit and, and all this uh, type of things, but Canelo been fighting smaller guys his whole career. Canelo been um, making his own catch weight for years. Mm -hmm. You know, Canelo fought a smaller Mayweather. Canelo fought a smaller um, Amir, uh, um, not Miller Khan, but uh, uh, yeah, Amir Khan. Yeah, he did. Amir he did Khan. at 155. Um, yeah. Amir Khan, you know, um, he fought so Jam Jamel Charlo. And I'm pretty sure he didn't make as much money with mm -hmm. all those guys except Mayweather, even even Berlanga right now, that he will with me. But yet and still, you know, he, he have all these excuses. Canelo's request might have seemed insincere, leading Al Schick to move on from the potential fight. Al Schick announced planning upcoming fights for 2024 to 2025, signaling the end of talks about Canelo Crawford. He shifted focus to major U.S. fights for Crawford and criticized Canelo for avoiding challenges. Canelo responded with a crying emoji, showing indifference to Al Shik's comments. It seems Alvarez isn't phased and feels he doesn't need Al Shik's involvement. I mean, it's one thing. I mean, I wouldn't think that Canelo watched Crawford on Saturday and was afraid of fighting him at 68. I think for Canelo, it's more about the, the credibility he gets through victory. Now, I think he's a little bit concerned, having spoke to him in the past, that if he beats a guy that's coming up from 147 to 168, is he really going to get the respect for that? So, um, we'll see. I mean, money talks. You know, if, if it's the right deal, he'll always take the fight. Eddie Hearn believes that Canelo's high monetary demand is due to the significant risk involved in facing an opponent like Crawford, who would need to jump up two weight divisions to take on Canelo. 
Like Turkey is not interested in making Canelo Crawford, maybe Virgil Crawford, if you know Virgil gets past. Absolutely, absolutely. I think, uh, look, the, the one thing that I respect about um, uh, Your Excellency and uh, Turkey is uh, he wants to make the best fights. That's basically it. And uh, a lot of fighters, you know, they outprice themselves, therefore the fans lose, and we can't watch those fights. But now Turkey's coming in paying money but he's not paying absurd amounts of monies uh that fighters are not you know worth he's he's being reasonable he's paying premiums but perfect example is canelo uh, uh one despite everything canelo didn't hold back his thoughts on crawford's recent win against madrimov canelo remarked for me i think crawford lost the fight or it was a draw or it could have gone the other way now he understands why weight classes exist He's been mentioning my name a lot lately because he wants to sell the Madrimov fight. If they don't talk about me, they don't sell anything. If the money is right, I don't like fighters who jump around weight classes. There has been considerable pressure from fight fans and the media for Canelo to test himself against the dangerous super middleweight David Benavides. However, Alvarez has demanded a massive payday to take on such a high-risk fight. Instead, the 34-year-old champion has secured lucrative bouts against lesser opponents, despite public outcry. Former UFC 2 division champion Conor McGregor, known for his outspoken nature, shared his thoughts on Canelo's selling power on social media, especially as Canelo is set to compete on the same night as UFC 306 at the $2.3 billion sphere. McGregor posted, Canelo is a cornflake. He has about 300k pay-per-view buys in him. He doesn't generate anywhere near what he demands. The UFC will run him off the strip. McGregor's comments echoed the sentiments of others who believe Canelo is overpricing himself. Oscar De La Hoya also criticized Canelo, agreeing with Alal Shik's decision to move on. De La Hoya stated that Canelo's demand for $150 million to fight Crawford is absurd and out of touch. Is intelligence and IQ, and we're not gonna end up like that. With a, I got knocked out. Caleb, our our card. Yeah, All right. right, let's turn stop, things back stop, over. Stop, stop Caleb, cat, Caleb, no? take it easy. I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of him. For you. <laughs> I promise you. I promise Hello. you. Hello, shut up. Shut up. It's not going to happen. He believes the critics are just haters and emphasize that people will still buy the pay-per-view. Berlanga's father added, We got the fight, and we're going to beat Canelo. At the press conference, Berlanga even called out Caleb Plant. 